The Eighth Sunday After Pentecost, Year B. From the Second Book of Samuel. I will appoint a place for my people Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week all address the issue of God providing his people with a place to belong. In the rather comic exchange between God and the prophet Nathan, we hear that God not only will provide David with a house in the sense of a building, but also with a kingdom and with a house in the sense of a dynasty to continue ruling after David. Of course, there's a catch. Our psalm reminds us that part of living in a household is abiding by the rules of that household and experiencing the consequences of breaking those rules. God will punish the transgressions of David's house, but not take his love from them, nor let his faithfulness prove false. This warning is what then stands behind the division between the uncircumcision and the circumcision, which is addressed in the letter to the Ephesians. God's purpose is not to value one over the other, but instead to break down the dividing wall between the physical and the spiritual understanding of the law. God has created one new humanity in place of the two, thus making peace and reconciles both groups to God in one body through the cross. What this means is that we must attend to both the physical and the spiritual in attending to our household responsibilities. The Word made flesh unites the physical and the spiritual so that God becomes able to die with us on the cross and we become able to rise with Christ, the Anointed One, in glory. When, therefore, as in our Gospel reading, we see Jesus and his disciples unable to find a deserted place where they can rest for a while or even have leisure to eat, when we ourselves are unable to find such a place, We should not rush to the metaphorical, treating their and our hunger and fatigue as though it had no bearing in an entirely spiritual scheme of things. We do well to be mindful of intersections between the physical and the spiritual because it is at those intersections that Jesus stands to proclaim peace to us when we're far off and peace to us when we're near, granting us access in one spirit to the Father. Jesus provides us with both a physical and a spiritual place of belonging. Belonging means having all our needs matter, whether those needs are physical or spiritual, or, as is usually the case, a bit of both. Wherever we happen to find ourselves, our God is able to provide a place where we belong. In the name of that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.